What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. We are playing some Rim Hammer the End Times with the Beastmen. We are harvesting the massive amounts of berries. It's a bit of a cheat. I did tweak that, so there will no longer be this many berries or hill root on a map. I'm going to rebuild our little barricade here. There's so much wood, it is just bonkers. Let's see. It's all going to shit, but... I guess we don't really care since it's so abundant. These bloody animals just... We just got a ton of dogs too. Look, they're everywhere. They're probably going to starve. We'll have to put them down. We had everybody, most everybody, eating raw meat right now because it's just not going to last that much longer. And then we're probably going to be hungry again. I should just start cooking meals like nobody's business. Let's get like... 40 of those. Use as much of these as you can, buddy. We're going to have to... Oh, yeah. We're going pemmican next on the research. So we can have food on the road. Now, Beastmen will eat kibble. Sans issue. And I believe I've already checked this. So if we go look at the lavish meal restrictions. Animal food. Boom. Maybe we just make a shit ton of kibble. How about that? Uh, make kibble. Do until you have details. I don't know how much kibble they eat per meal, but there you go. Look, there's our elk. He's like slightly awakened in the sense that a beast man is awakened. But he has no idea what's coming for him. He didn't actually physically morph. He just mentally morphed into this chaos creature. We just have animals sleeping everywhere. <laughs> what are you doing? You're sleeping there. There's a sleeping spot behind that Saigor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great alright where can we put some more of these down I really don't want them I guess we're going to kill most of these animals these dogs are probably going to starve right because there's nothing for them to eat and they're not going to hunt what is that torch lamp we're going to get rid of that I think it would look cool and we certainly have the wood just to have torch lamps everywhere, but whatever, it's fine. And you guys better start eating like mad. No one's making the kibble, which I guess is fine. Oh, somebody is making the kibble. Hopefully the kibble goes in here. Yes. Oh man, that made a ton too. Yeah, all the meat's rotting away. <laughs> We gotta get rid of some of these. Let's let's check our Sagors and see. You're a chemical interest tough. You're a super immune fast learner. Which, I, I guess tough is the way to go, but we shouldn't really have a lot of drugs around. If we do, we're just gonna do them all right away. And we have one extra weapon. I didn't really do a weapons check yet. We've been just giving people human weapons. Oh no, you're bolder, buddy. Your boulder's way out there. What's a Saigor without his boulder? Maybe I'll put some... Make a way to build those things. Because what if it was lost? Like we vacated the map or something. Ooh, Seamus has a new magic level. Alright, what do we have? He has one point available. So we can't tell you you hover over. This requires two to upgrade. This requires two. This requires three. This one is nuts. Bewilder. I'm going to just sit on this point. I want to get my damage spell maxed out. Since the direct damage stuff is the most awesomely effective. Okay, so let's move this zone over here somewhere. And let's shrink it back so we're not walking through it all the time. And let's get all these, these stupid dog. All these stones moved. Let's get this one moved too. Shouldn't be there. Uh, we had pork right away. So we're getting kind of short on meat now. Animals. The elk. Animals inside. Slaughter the elk. Uh, somebody kill the turkey. Our harpies kill the turkey. For the minute, somebody commented on the YouTube. And it's totally correct. Dealing with these animals is just a hassle. But at some point, we will need them. So I think I'm going to go ahead and skip pemmican because we can do kibble on the road and beastmen shaman apparel crude bows metallic horns 
We can make really good weapons and armor. I'm almost 100% certain that we need a forge. We do. Can we even build a forge? No. What do we need to build a forge? Smithing. I think it's going to be that. Let's, we should do that next. In case we need some good weapons. Okay. So I swear I deleted this zone, but I apparently did not. Get these stones moved, please. No storage space. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, man, I didn't copy. That son of a bitch. Can I paste? What if I close? Will it paste? No. Oh, well. All right, so clear all preferred uh, stone chunks. There you go. I'll get that done. And then we can figure out some kind of security system over here. So we'll run this down. And then we'll run some traps down through here. Need some wooden doors. There and there. This is going to all be out of wood because that seems more beast man than making stuff out of something else. And I don't, you know, I guess they would have some kind of defenses in place, you would think. There you go. You know what? We can go a few deeper. This one will be accessed through this door. This one will be accessed from the outside. Yeah, that'll work. And let's do some floors in there, too, so we don't have to be constantly dealing with it. And then this... We'll connect up to our other floors. There we go. Alright, that'll give us some security once I get some traps in there. And again, how much pim- Okay. What if I went to the world? Cheers to the patrons! Turtle Dave, Cornell BJT, Seamus, Michael, Rake, Straw, Wake, Mata, Ethan, Dees, and Frederick. The rest of you, think about getting on there and throwing me some support if you would. So we're going to take like one of these dudes, a couple of these bros, and something like that. And then really all we want... Where's the kibble? There's no kibble in here. Yeah, I'm just a dummy. It was there the whole time. Okay, yeah. So it does count as food. So we can totally go out and about right now. I'm going to get this security built. We'll even get our traps put in. I'm going to go ahead and clear the animal zone. So that the animals don't go in the trap zone. What? Oh, yeah. You're taking out a tree. Yeah, it's high time we got it on the road. That'll keep our pawn count down, and it'll keep us smashing enemies. This has 13 days. We can even be doing these map events. Now, how much material do we have? This will reduce the value of our herd. We have a fair amount of gore hide. So why don't we just build some gore hide crude beds somewhere that makes sense to build these things. There you go. So if we took six people, yeah, that should be all right. Um, yeah, that should be 240 in terms of material. Okay, there's a second doggo join event. Oh, gosh. Come on with the animals, buddy. You know what? How about this? Animals. We don't have any meat left, almost. Where's these Yorkies? Check. And check. Beastmen, do you think there would be dogs running around? I am going to put Cast Warhound into the game at some point here. It's definitely on the list of things to do. And Beastmen should definitely have Cast Warhounds. So that will be a later update. After six months of working on or just over six months of working on this, it's high time I did some did some release. <laughs> I got to get back to the dwarf mod for a little while. Dwarfs need a proper end game. And I'm going to start adding some magic to the dwarfs now that the beastmen are out and have magic. 
not sure how far I'm going to run with it right now, but the Empire will be the next faction that I work on. And they will also have magic. So I don't want the dwarfs to get left behind too far. Make sure all these beds are claimed. They are. Maybe we'll do another bank of bedrooms somewhere. I don't want to do them against the exterior wall here. Alright, someone's killing the dogs, which is good. Yeah, I guess I'll keep him moving that meat to the other room. Whatever. Alright, we're almost done with this stuff. This biome is just insane. Alright, so security. Wooden traps. Not as good as steel. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know, dumb and dumber, you're going to be stepping on them if I do that. There you go. I could have rotated some of those so that you can rotate just for a slightly more interesting look. That's a part of the base mod. Alright, what is the value of this colony at the minute? Herd is still reasonably strong. Good. Because people will get really pissed off if you get too much wealth. It'll get to like negative 35. What is this? It looks like we got two guys doing that, but we don't. Alright, we should probably h hold these doors open now. Mostly just to let the air... Oh shit, we don't need these fires in here. I'm going to do that. That that. There you go. What was that? Uh, someone constructing... Yeah, failed construction. Not a big deal. So three, four, five. We're gonna take at least five. Okay, let's get all these uninstalled. Mmm, we don't really have anywhere to put those things right now. We need to do something with this material. We can make some tents. <laughs> make a fighting tent over here. People are probably getting crabby for some violence, too. No? No? I slept in the heat. Yeah, that's my fault. Okay, nobody needs violence yet. That's a good sign. How are we doing for blocks? I was hoping to get the herd stone built today. It's a part of this episode. Alright, look at that. There's some proper beast man business right there. I'm going to build another one of these. Over there. I don't know what a beast man encampment would look like, but I don't think it would really have walls. <laughs> Haven't played tabletop beast men for probably eight or nine years, I can tell you. <laughs> None of my display boards for the tournaments ever had walls around them. <laughs> yes, look at this. It's going to take a quick minute to build, but once this thing goes up, the events pick up. So we're going to get more raids. We're going to get more people showing up randomly. Our bloody meals just went away. I guess they're forbade. I wish we had just made kibble. I think that's what we're going to do. I guess we don't even really need this room. No. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Really, it just had... Uh... You know what? Piss on it. We're just suspending them anyway. It was just a way to make sure they used human-like meat first in the meals before using other stuff, since they all get happy from it. Look at that. That is Trixie right there. No hobbitses are sneaking into our little zone. And wood. Well, we burnt through a fair amount of wood. Look at this. There's a little structure here. Could almost use that for burning shit. I can't see if it goes all the way around. <laughs> Let's see, I think we can do this. Claim, claim. Yeah, so there's some spots missing in the bottom. Malaria, god darn it. Well, so much for getting out on the road as soon as I wanted to. Yeah, look at this, Dirtle Dave in the gentle snow making the giant herd stone. We're gonna need a bunch of dead bodies too. That's gonna hurt our food situation. It's the first thing you need to do Start offering up bodies to corn and Nurgle. You also have to get a bunch of rotten ones because Nurgle only likes rotten bodies. 
Everybody has a weapon. I should have made this tent bigger. I just don't like taking up too much space. I like to keep as much forest intact as I can. Alright, you know what we can do? Architect zone. Stockpile zone. Just right there. Copy. Paste. Delete. Get all this shisa out of here. Now, what do we have for material? Bird skin. Alright, human leather. Do we have any dwarf leather? We probably do, but let's do this out of human leather. Seems sufficiently disgusting, right? So structure. Human leather. I don't want to do it against the back wall. So what we're going to do is this. A couple crude dwarf leather tent flaps. Oh, man. These stupid walls. I don't know why they do that. I putzed with it for quite a bit and just gave up. You have to delete it before you can drop a door into a wall. I had this problem with my... What was that mod? The vault, where I made some super strong walls to use in one of my playthroughs. And it was the same kind of situation where you had to delete the wall before you could drop a door into it. Okay, now we have that. I want these settings in there. Copy, boom, paste, boom, and let's make, man, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave them the same priority. It doesn't matter. Look at that. Human leather tents, people. <laughs> Look the F out for the beast, man. You know how hard it is to make a new wall and make everything match up? It's freaking nuts hard. So after spending like two or three days on this, I just gave up. Yeah, buddy, there it is. There's like a shitty tent of human leather sticking off a shitty wooden building, <laughs> building out here. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut these bedrooms down in size. Maybe just remove this one. I don't know. I want more bedrooms in here. Oh, maybe I can just make them tiny. Remove the middle one. Make another tiny row and have like a little walkway come through and go up and down. Something. Of course, the Bray Shaman lives like a pimp over here. Wait, it says mediocre. What? I guess it just lit. Oh, there's a raid. Very nice. We got to get rid of this too. It's too hot in there. Tell me that you've meditated, sir. You have... Tribes people have heard about the beastmen presence nearby and are most displeased. And as it happens, I still have some time to deal with this today yet. So there you go. Animals inside. Uh, people. Look, everybody's bored, so that's that's perfect. Oh, you know what? This is here's a downside. Our traps are gonna take care of these bungholes. On an unrelated note. Who's my other Corneal? Corneal has to be set to ignore. Everybody else needs to be in attack mode. There we go. Okay, now. All the garbage we didn't want got put outside. That's good. It doesn't seem very beast man Because they need violence. Shit, you know what? This has to be held open. You get over there. I just want to see how this trap system is going to work for us. Okay, they're bashing on our doors and starting fires. Now they're getting... Ravens have joined. Now that seems pretty beast man -y. Animals. Uh-oh. I guess they pissed... No, look at them all. These are ravens? Interesting. I have no idea what happened with the raven situation. <laughs> anyway. So they're going to bugger. Let's get out there and smash face. No, you, 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 you dudes start putting out fires. You guys have ranged weapon. You put out fire. You put, we'll just stage some pit fights. It's fine. You know what? You can probably magic that dude down. No, let's do an enfeebling foe. Wait, if these Ungor hit him, we'll enfeeble him. Then it'll go down. Yep, there you go. And then I'll slow him down significantly. Durl, go put out fire, please. What are you doing? You're melee attacking. I need you to come over here. Rhino is alive here. Not for long. We cannot... Okay. Cast success. Uh-oh. Oh no! Dear God! Corneal, go put out... Will you not put out fire? One of these dudes was a pyro, I think. 
Or they just don't give a shit about fires. Alright, you guys go put out fire. You just got crushed by a giant rock. Frederick will get him. Okay, remember when I was like, go put out fire? So they're set to attack. That's the issue here. If these dudes could just simply kill this guy or drop him. Beautiful. Alright, we need fires put out. Big time. Anybody else drafted? You dudes are drafted. Someone has to finish that guy off. Yeah, some people probably still need some violence. Not yet, so we're doing okay. And this will all get repaired and rebuilt. Oh shit, I didn't have this checked. So stuff. Ooh, we got some Ambrosia. Beastmen love drugs. Oh, weird. You can't place it now because those other traps were there first. That is interesting. Oh shit, I left Corneal standing there. Well, I guess we're going to have to deconstruct. Okay, so there that's an issue with the base mod. That's probably been in there for a long while. You know what? Forget it. Let's just use these spikes. Oh, that's so weird. It doesn't let me put them in some places. Oh, we have to clear these. And our walls got destroyed from the fire, it looks like. One little tick. You, over here. Alright, well, you know what you can do? You can melee attack him. Just step on him, bro. Seriously. We're going to leave all their junk there for now. Inspired creativity for rake straw. Now that is intriguing. These beds don't have... They're crew beds. They don't really have any kind of... Oh, we're in... Are we in god mode? No, we researched furniture. That's what happened. Didn't we? We better have. Yes, we did. That's what's going on. We could build something fancy. Now, you don't really want to be doing that because you don't want your wealth to go up. Uh, what should we make? I feel like we should do something. Can we do an artist's table? Production. Sculptor's table. Oh, yeah. Sadly, we don't have any bloody room for it. Let's move Corneal's bed. We got to get more bedrooms made. And then let's get rid of this. And let's put a little sculpty table over there. Hey, right, wait. Rake straw. You better have some artistic ability anyway. No, he's shit. You know what? Piss on it. We're not going to even bother. If you build a bunch of statues, then your value goes up. So, that it only really harms you. You go and clean in here, sir. Alright, well, it is break time. We didn't get our herd stone built, sadly. I do have a note on traps not going next to these. I'll see what that error is about. And cheers to the patrons. Frederick, Ethan D's, Wake Model, Michael Rakestraw, Seamus JT, Cornell B, and Dirtle Dave. The rest of you, there's some pawns available, and you're probably going to die, but uh, I'll just rename another pawn after you. So it's A-OK, -okay, really. Oh, shit, the dogs just ate all the bloody ambrosia. Stupid dogs. This is why you should kill your dogs in RimWorld, because they're just a bloody hassle. Oh, great, now they're mating. <laughs> so much for killing them, we're actually letting them reproduce. Our terrier meat's rotting away. Kibble. Before I bail, I want to. You know how I always try to bail, but then don't bail. All right, just nobody's doing it. I guess is what it is. These are all tainted bills. Ah, cause they butcher first. Whatever, it's fine. Anyways, come on, think about some support. A couple bucks a month. Boonax is infected. Boonax should go lay down. That's fine. Boonax could be you. You, listening to me right now, could be infected, and I could be talking about you. Anyways, support. I'll see you guys next time.